All right, so uh, we, 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 we demonstrated being able to register, uh, fetch the current user for profiles from the, from the server in a profile screen, and then logging out and coming back to the home page. Uh, so let's, uh, let's uh, now demonstrate how we would be able to log in, right, and try to find that user uh, by credentials. So let's create a, a login uh, screen here in the user directory we'll create a new javascript we'll call it uh, login.javascript and let's uh let's implement a really simple react login screen so react export default login extend oops there's a class class which extends uh, react.component and right now it's going to look very, very similar to our register screens. Actually, I'm going, to, I'm going to steal quite a few things from the register screen. I'm going to render and grab all this. And I'm going to paste it here. Uh, oops. Uh, what, the, what they didn't like. No, I meant, to, I meant to copy the whole thing, including the render. Let's paste that in there. Uh, we don't need a couple things here. Um, we we use a username. We can use the password. We're not going to do the verify password. So we're going to remove that. Uh, I'm also going to uh, copy the state. I'm going to copy the handler. Uh, the state is username password. I'm going to remove the verify and I'm going to handle login. And eventually, I'm going to uh, call register from a user service, right? So we'll do that in a second. So this will be login, which doesn't exist yet. So we'll work on that in a minute. Um, and we'll call this login. And we're going to click and handle login here, login. We're going to pass the username and password, and we'll call this login, right? Uh, for the for handling this on the on the on the service, right? Um, what I'd like to be able to do is pass this username and password to the server. The server is going to look us up by username and password, uh, and uh, if it's successful, uh, this will be the current user, the current user, and we're going to navigate to the profile. So that's correct, right? So let's try to implement the login in the user service. Now the login is going to uh, look somewhat similar to the register, and so I'm going to copy the register. And I'm going to re rename this to be login. I'm going to pass user. Now, user is going to include the username and password. And, and I'm going to post it to a new login endpoint that doesn't exist just yet. We'll build it in a second. Uh, I'm going to post it. We're going to send over the user object, which includes the username and password. Uh, we want to participate in a, in a session. right? You know, Look us up in the database. You know, if we do exist, make us a current user and store us in the profile. So let's do that. Uh, so right now the endpoint doesn't work. So uh, so let's try that. Is there a question? Uh, we do have the quiz. We're gonna I'm gonna make it available at the end of the lecture, and you can do it on your own. Thank you. Uh, so let's try the login. We are we're going to uh, let's navigate there. So let's uh, add a, a router uh, so that we can uh, navigate there. So we'll create a route so that we can navigate to login, login. And this is login, OK, uh, which we need to import login. There we go, imported it. And in our home page, let's link it. Let's create a brand new link so we can navigate to our login page. So this, is, uh, this will be login, and this will be login. So now from our home page, we can navigate to login. Uh, we can try and log in as PO. Uh, but we'll, as we'll notice in our network, right? if we try and log in, the server is going to complain saying nothing is mapped to login. So let's head over to the server and implement that. So on the server side, uh, we're going to listen in for an incoming post uh, mapping right? that is mapped to login. And what we're going to do is that we're going to try and find that user. Right? The, uh, the user will be in the request object. 
there it is. Uh, and what I'd like to be able to do is find that user uh, with the username and password. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to Im implement in our user repository a query right to the database that's going to try and find that user. So it's so a public user, and this will be find user by credentials, credentials. And it's going to use as arguments two strings, the username and the password. Right, and the query is going to look uh, as follows. It's going to be um, query, and the query is that is going to select user from uh, user user where the uh, user dot username uh, is equal to a placeholder username, uh, and the uh, user dot password uh, is equal to a placeholder password. Right, and the play and the I'm going to fill in those pa those placeholders with a param so that that username string is going to map to the username parameter. Okay, once we have that uh, declared in our login, we can use it, right? We can say, um, use the, the, the repository, uh, find user by credential, and we're going to pass the user user dot get username and we're going to user dot get password right and hopefully that's going to come back with the user right user profile user and um, and since we found that user we're going to store it in the session with, uh, as the current logged in user so we'll store it in the session HTTP session session I'm going to say um, session dot set attribute that this is the current profile is this profile that we found right and and then we can just send back the uh, the user profile that we just found so we're going to return the profile we found now this profile might be null right and we're going to be we're going to have to handle null on the client side we're not doing that right now uh, but you know we have to handle that edge case here we're going we're, we're handling the the uh, the perfect case uh, uh the, the the happy path and we're going to assume that we do we have found the the user. So let's restart the uh, server and let's try this out again. All right. So back in the client, I'm going to refresh the client. I'm going to try and log in as Poe. Um, okay. Notice that it looks like it worked. Right. Notice that I am retrieving the the information for Poe. Right, the in the profile, it came back saying that, yep, yeah, I am the current user. Notice that if I refresh, I'm still Po. Right? If I log out and I go back to log in, I can log in as, as other folks, right? As uh, as Alice. There's Alice, right? And and then uh, or and if I refresh, notice that I am still logged in as, as Alice, and I can I can log out, and I can register. I can log in as anybody who have registered in in the past. Okay.